of operations when more than one operator appears in an expression the order of evaluation depend on the rule of precedence board mass is the rule which you must have studied in your school college days here the rule which we will use is pemdas p is parenthesis e is exponential m is multiplication division addition and subtraction so preference is given in this way so the first preference will always be given to parenthesis so we'll see parenthesis 5 into 4 minus 2 so what you should get 4 minus 2 is 2 5 to the now if i want to run this i will press control enter or i can press shift enter or if i press alter enter sorry this was the run if i press alter enter we will get a blank line or this can also be run by keeping your cursor here and pressing this run button okay so 4 minus 2 is 2 5 into 2 is 10 so first preference is given to the parenthesis and then to the multiplication here 4 minus 2 is 2 5 minus 2 is 3 3 to the 6 second preference is given to the exponential now we have already seen how to get exponential value and how to write exponential 2 1 star 2 star 3 what it means 2 raised to 3 plus 1 now what we expect the output from this 2 raised to 3 plus 1 exponential is having preference over addition so 2 raised to 3 is 8 8 plus 1 is 9 so you should get output as 9 but see how the code is written 2 raised to 3 is 8 plus 1 is 3 now if i check is it 3 no it is not 3 so what you should get you should get false as the output you should get false as the output because we are not finding the value of this expression we are checking whether it is 3 or not and it will not be definitely 16 3 plus 1 4 2 raised to 4 is 16 this is not correct now if i want to find this value what we can do is instead of this if i run it like this now we will get the output as 9 if the output is 9 and if you want to check if it is 9 it should get us you should give us the answer true now 2 raised to 3 plus 1 so first what will be evaluated 3 plus 1 will be evaluated because parenthesis first 2 raised to 4 2 raised to 4 is 16 then 3 into 1 raised to 3 so 1 raised to 3 is 1 and 3 3 is a 9 sorry 1 raised to 3 is 1 and 3 1 is a 3 so this is true or if you want to evaluate this just remove this is 3 and you will get answer as 3 then we can perform multiplication and division operation like 8 into 2 is 16 so this is quite uh, simple and uh, well known to each one of us 8 divided by 2 is 4 here the output will be in float and not in integer 8 plus 2 addition very easy now first multiplication and then addition so 5 to the 10 10 plus 6 is 6 is 16 24 divided by 3 first it will use the precedence of PEMDAS that is division and then addition so 3 24 divided by 3 and then 8 plus 5 is 13 similarly 12 minus 5 minus 3 now both are subtraction both are at same precedence so what if it is not 10 operators with it is not 10 because the operator with same precedence are evaluated from left to right so 12 minus 5 is 7 7 minus 3 is 4 5 minus 3 is 2 12 minus 2 is 10 that is not the case so it is start from evaluating from the left right so run this we will get the answer similarly no issue in addition whether we go from left to right or left to left we should get same answer here first 15 minus 3 and then plus 2 further 
there is something more on string operation mathematical operators they work on string as well suppose a is 70 b is 65 and we want to print a plus b let us see what is the output yes it is giving the output of string plus string now here instead of writing here in this case in the 34 code number line number 34 a is integer b is integer but here a is string and here b is string so what we should get here string plus string it will not add the two strings string first is 76 that is a string second is b and that is 65 and we have seen if you want gap in this then we have to use space separated by a space in parenthesis now multiplication operator see how funny result we will get when we use multiplication operator on string we are asking it to print a into b a is hello and we are asking it to print five times so it is printing hello five times and further if we come here there is a function which is built in which is called as dir dir that is directory and when we use let us see what we get so we get a long list a directory all this which we can use on string okay few of this we'll use in the following code you can go through this news is covid 19 is a new disease so this is just a variable news and if i run this variable nothing will happen now a1 is a new variable which is saying that i want news but everything should be in lower case if i run this and to see the output i will type a1 and shift enter covid 19 is a new disease everything is in lower case if i want to change this in upper case alter enter and now a2 shift enter so everything is in upper case so this upper lower all this you can use with string there is lot many there is a lot of operations that you can perform on string you can practice it now boolean operations few boolean operations that we can perform are the first is equal to equal to operator is one of the comparison operator it will compare then x is not equal to y x is greater than y x is less than y greater than or equal to y less than or equal to y and so on so you all you know what are these boolean expressions we will try this here a is 100 b is 500 and we are using and operator and sees both the condition this and this this only it will give either true or false as the output so a is 100 b is 500 a is greater than 50 correct b is less than 50 no b is not less than 50 instead if i write b is greater than 50 here instead if i write greater than 50 it should give us the output 2 and if i make it less it will give the output false now is a greater than 0 and b also greater than 0 yes both are greater than 0 so you should get output as true is a equal to 90 b equal to 25 false okay further if a equal to 100 b equal to 5 and a is greater than 50 or b is less than 50 so is a greater than 50 yes a is greater than 50 is b less than 50 no but or is the operator so one of the condition is satisfied that's why you will get it as true or checks either of the two conditions now again here it is giving true so a is equal to 50 and b is equal to 25 it is false and is false now here and or both are there so who will get precedent and has the highest priority 
in the evaluation true and false it always false true and false it is always false and in the evaluation false or true or true or false it is always true so whenever it is or it is true whenever it is and it is false so if you evaluate this a is equal to 100 and b is equal to 500 this and this or this and this so if you run this we will get true now we can use print also with operators 12 is greater than 7 and 2 is less than 14. So, we have to print this and this is it true or false. Now, next is x is true, y is false. Then print x and y is what? x and y. So, I have already mentioned here when we say x and y, it is always false, and when we say x or y, it is always true. Further, in operator a in banana. So, it will check whether there is A in banana and it knows that A is there in banana. Now, it will check A B in banana. So, there is no A B in banana, there is B A in banana, there is no A B in banana. We want to check whether it has B A in banana, run this, yes it is getting B A in banana. So, it is going as per the sequence, red, is there red in banana? run this no red is not there in the banana so these are some of the operations termed as miscellaneous operation by me which includes operators built in functions boolean expressions 